What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we're continuing with our top five and today is going to focus on my top five teas. So my top five teas are in no particular order. Um, these are just my five go-to teas that I have had many, 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 many times um, and I never get sick of it. I always love it. Um, so let's jump into it. Uh, one of my top five is Ta -da! actually pre-bagged. It is Twinnings Earl Grey. Um, this is a company that's been around forever. Um, in fact, it says, a cup of Twinnings tea provides a delicious diversion from the everyday. For 300 years, we've pursued our passion and commitment to one thing, assuring you the world's finest tea experience. Twinnings travels through exotic tea gardens across many continents to capture the best possible teas and flavors. With expert blending, Twinnings creates the richest journey in black, green, and herbal teas. Um, this is really just tea and bergamot flavoring. There's nothing else to it. It's really simple. I really, really enjoy it. Um, I find that it is um, a nice balance between uh, like having a heavy bergamot presence, but not like kind of slapping you in the face. Um, there are Earl Grey teas that can be a little bit bitter um, and that can be almost overpowering. This is a really nice balance between the two. Um, I actually buy mine from Costco because you can get boxes of like 500 of these and then they last me a good long while. Um, so this is definitely one of my go-to teas. Um, another one actually that is one of my go-to teas that is also pre-bagged. I know I'm a huge loose leaf fan. Um, I preach loose leaf like crazy, but two of my top five happen to be pre-bagged. And this one, is Tazo Chai Tea. Uh, Tazo is owned by Starbucks, um, but you can buy it in like regular grocery stores. Um, this one has uh, black tea, ginger, cinnamon, black pepper, cardamom, cloves, star anise, and is organically grown. Um, I really like this one because much like the Twinnings, um, it's a bit more mild. So this one doesn't punch you in the face, um, but all of the flavors are recognizable. So when I'm drinking this tea, um, I can kind of pick out the different flavors and they just, I don't know, they metal well in my in my mouth. <laughs> um, you do, I do anyways, have to steep this one a little bit longer than I would normally steep a black tea. I actually steep this for seven minutes, whereas all the other black teas I drink, I stick closer to three, maybe four minutes. Um, this one I do find needs a little bit longer um, just to help really bring out those flavors. Um, but I think it's the perfect balance between, you know, the warm spices um, and a sweet flavor. Um, and I go to this one whenever I feel like I just need a warm hug <laughs> because it's really, really delicious. And yeah, I like it. <sighs> I figured I couldn't make a tea video without actually drinking tea during it. Uh, third tea that I really enjoy it's from a company called Tivana. This is an old Tiopia tin that got bought out by Tivana, which then got bought out by Starbucks, but it's still under the company of Tivana. It's a long story. Um, I've had many, many different teas, hence all the different labels that I've peeled off. Um, but this is Cocoa Mint Black. Um, this is black tea, cocoa pieces, coconut rasps, uh, and peppermint leaves. Uh, product contains coconut. And that's pretty much all that's in here. Um, and it <sighs> smells so bloody good. Um, if you like an after dinner mint, which is basically just like mint chocolate, but like really powerful. If you like the after dinner mints, like the, uh, or, or the, oh, the thin mint girl guide cookies. Mm, that is what this tastes like. Oh my gosh. It is a sweeter tea. So if you don't like sweet teas, you probably won't like this. Um, but this is a black tea. And it basically tastes like Thin Mints from Girl Guide Cookies or After Dinner Mints, uh, After Eight Dinner Mints. They're it's just so, so good. Um, it's very present mint flavor. It's very present chocolate flavor. Um, and I just, I love it. And what I like about most of this is that it isn't like fake tasting. Like I've had teas that are specifically called like Dinner Mints or uh, Chocolate Mint or or things like that, but they all taste kind of fake to me. Um, and that kind of drives me nuts. <laughs> um, whereas this doesn't taste artificial, even though I know, you know, there is like artificial flavoring in here and whatnot. It just, it doesn't taste like that to me. And it doesn't leave 
that sort of like, you know, when you drink like diet sodas, you get like kind of a, an aspartame flavor and I detest that. So I don't really drink diet soda or diet pop, however you want to pronounce it. But, um, some teas with artificial flavoring will give me that. And I don't like it. This does not, um, despite all the other ones that try so hard, um, this is beautiful and I just, I just, I just love it. And another tea that I have on my list here, it's kind of indescript. You all knew there had to be a David's Tea presence somewhere. If you've watched my videos, you know I own basically all of David's Tea. This is from David's Tea. This is Santa's Secret. This is in their uh, holiday tin. Uh, so there's a hundred grams of it in here. You can kind of see, I'll pick one out for you here. And it's basically going to tell you <laughs> what it kind of tastes like. It's got these little teeny candy cane pieces in it. Um, it is also chocolate and minty flavor, but it is totally different chocolate mint from this. Um, this is a much more subtle, much more sweet, much more creamy um, than the after dinner, like, you know, what tastes like a thin mint, basically. <laughs> um, this is much more mild. Um, and I go to this, basically, this is, so Tivana or Davis Tea makes a 24 days of Christmas advent calendar with like different teas in them. Um, and this tea was in the very first one that I got three years ago and I fell in love with it and I've bought it every year since. Um, I love it. Um, and actually speaking of the 24 days of tea, the second year that I bought it, there was a tea in there called uh, Nepal Black, which I thought I would hate because it just seemed like a bland, boring black tea with like nothing going on in it. And it's now in my top five. Who knew? Um, that's why I love getting 24 days of tea every year because you try so many teas that you would never think to try on your own. I don't have any Davis Tea Nepal Black with me, so I'll insert a picture of it over top um, because I have used it all <laughs> and I haven't yet gone to buy some new ones because I want to go through some of the teas I have before I go buy it again. But trust me, I will go buy it again. Um, I do have a, a different review of the Nepal Black. Um, what pen did I pair that with? I want to see my Pelican M600 video, which is like one of my first videos. Actually, I think it's my first fountain pen video I ever did was the Pelican 600. Oh yeah, go check it out if you want to. Um, you're gonna see a much heavier version of myself in there. But anyway, <laughs> um, that is uh, in my top five. It is a mild black tea with like a subtle honey flavor. Um, I really, like it's, it's not overwhelming. So black tea, sometimes when you drink it can be uh, a little bit bitter or uh, kind of harsh. Um, it's usually very strong and a little overwhelming. This one isn't, it's so mild. Um, and just that honey flavor just kind of lingers underneath. Um, and it's just, it's so good. Like sometimes when I drink a tea, I want something, you know, like the Cocoa Mint Black that has a very present flavor that when you're drinking it, you're like, yeah, this is what I'm drinking. But sometimes I just want something comforting um, something, you know, more mild, more relaxing. Um, and that is what Nepal Black does for me. Um, it's just, yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, I love it. And now I'm really mad that I don't have it because <laughs> now I want to drink it. Um, but I'll probably be getting that one, uh, within the next few weeks once I go through some of the holiday teas, um, that I have. So those are my top five. Those are my go-tos all the time. Um, and much like the other top five videos that I've done, I do have two honorable mentions um, that I also will always have in my cupboard, um, but they just it didn't quite make my top five. One of them is Nutty and Spice. Uh, so this is a new tea that David's Tea has out for the holiday season which is why it didn't make my top five because it's only been around for one year. So the other teas I've been drinking straight for at least three years. <laughs> um, so that's why this isn't an honorable mention. This literally tastes like a chai tea and an apple cider put together. Um, and it is uh, an oolong tea and it is delicious. Um, I will have to buy more of this before the holiday season ends so that I can carry it with me throughout the rest of the season. Um, and the other tea that made my honorable mentions is 
Citron Oolong with a very beat up label. Um, I really enjoy this because it's a lemony tea. It's an oolong tea as well. And you can see I'm almost out. This tin was full. Um, and the reason why this isn't in my top five is just because I have to be in the mood for a lemon flavored tea in order to enjoy this one. Um, because it is basically lemon. That's pretty much the main tasting note. There is jasmine flowers in it, uh, you know, lemon myrtle and natural orange oil. Um, but basically it tastes like a sweeter lemon. Um, the reason why, again, it hasn't made my top five is just because if I'm not in the mood for lemon, then I don't gravitate towards that tea. Um, but it is one that I always have in my cupboard uh, because there's always a time and a place for it. Um, so that's why it's in my honorable mentions. Um, so yeah, <laughs> those are my top five teas. Um, guys, if you have any other top five, let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'm hoping that you all are enjoying this top five as you know the year 2016 comes to a close. Um, I'm hoping you will all enjoy that. Guys, I started these videos last January. Uh, so I'm almost a year into YouTube videos and I've loved every minute of it so far. So guys, I'm gonna quit rambling before I get too sentimental and save it for next time. I will see you guys next time. Hit that thumbs up button. Don't be afraid of that comment section below. Smack dab on this little circle here that says hello and you can subscribe. There are new videos every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A on Tuesday. Guys, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I will see you on Friday. Bye.